Hi, it's Adam Houston. I'm coming to you from the Market Club Studios, and today's lesson is on moving averages. Moving averages have been around for a long time, and they're easy to use. They're a lagging indicator. I'm going to show you three ways to use moving averages. What we're looking at right now is a daily chart of Citigroup, and of course, they've been in the news quite a lot recently with the uh, disaster in the subprime, and moving averages can help you avoid such disasters. So here we are, we're looking at Citigroup. It goes back to 01, so it's about six years worth of data. And you can see it's had some, some interesting moves like this, and of course the big double top and the collapse. And what we're looking at is we're going to put some moving averages in here. The first one we're going to put in is going to be a 200-day moving average. And I'm going to go to our Tools, our Studies, and select Moving Averages. And I'm going to add a moving average, and it's going to be a 200-day moving average. Now, you can put any data or any number in this field if you want. I'm going to use an exponential moving average, which means more data, the closer it gets to the end, the more emphasis it puts on that data. So let's just close this and say OK. And as you can see, pretty much we have a very simple exponential moving average for 200 days running through Citigroup and I'll close this up here and as you can see how this first way I'm going to show you how to use moving averages this way that is when the prices are below or above the moving average that's considered the trend so I'll give you an example so when prices are above the moving average like here the trend is considered up when it's below the moving average prices are considered down. Now obviously you can see with this type of wide moving average you get a lot of whipsaws. Now the other way of using moving averages is this way. When a moving average is headed pointed down it means the trend is down and of course that also can lead to whipsaws and when it's up the trend is up. So again when you get this type of market when it's really going nowhere, this is considered a trading range, and moving averages are little or no use to you during this type of market scenario. Now again, we said when the prices, when it turned down here, you can see the turn down, it was an indication that prices are headed lower. Of course, that's what's happened. Now the other and the third method of using moving averages, which is the one I think is the best method, uh, which I would prefer, is using a crossover. And that is we're going to add another moving average to our 200-day moving average, and we're just going to put a 50-day moving average in here and see what happens. So you can put any number in here if you want. It could be a 30-day, a 17-day, a 21-day, uh, whatever number you choose. So I'm just going to say OK. And as you can see, we have another indicator, so a 50-day moving average, which got in right here and would have gotten out right around here, all gotten long. So what you're looking at is when the 50-day moving average, in this case, is above the 200-day moving average, you want to be long. And conversely, when it goes below that, you either want to be out of the market or short. So as we step this forward, I'm going to take this study off. And I'm going to scope in the chart. It's easy to do using market clubs. So I'm just going to zoom into the chart, click, click, click. And as you can see here, let me go out just a little bit. And we'll come back. There was our crossover right here. So right around these levels, we would have gotten long. As you can see, the market came down very close, did not touch it, came down again, it sometimes acted as support, and we went up, 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 then down, and then finally we break the market right around these levels. So pretty much close to where you got in here, but look what you avoided. You avoided this big move down. And this is going to take a while for this market to its 34.78 but you had the signal right at around 47. So you had about $13. Uh, you would have been out of this market and not have to worry about it. So I think that's what I like about the crossover method as opposed to prices above or the indication of the slope of the moving average. Hey, this is Adam Hewison with a very quick lesson on moving averages. Moving averages are best used with other indicators. 
such as the ADX and other tools that we have in our toolbox. As you can see, they're all here, and you, they're all they're all meant to complement one another in the marketplace. So, I hope you enjoy the lesson. We'll be back with lesson number three. So, enjoy.